rugged phone. It's not made to be dragged like that behind a bike, obviously. It's made to be hucked by some angry girlfriend. If you are a prepper, this is the most important prep that you can possibly make. I'm not telling you to get rid of your regular phone or anything like that. That's not what this is for. This is for in an emergency situation, you're gonna need your documentation, you're gonna need entertainment, you're gonna need all these things built into a package that is very rugged, that is going to be there whenever you need it, that's gonna have a giant battery. That's what this is for. You wanna have this in your bug out bag just in case anything ever happens. Most people around the world use Androids. They don't use iPhones, okay? Check this thing out. This thing, for how big of a battery it is, it's actually not that big. I'm so excited about this. This thing is sturdy, obviously. It's so appealing, right? Um, most people are not gonna go and switch from their regular phone to this huge, it's not actually that big. Where, I, I was about to say, where's my phone? I'm like, I'm holding it in my hand. Okie tail, that is how you say it, powered by Android. Hi there, English vision settings, blind. Okay, it's braille. So hook me up for the braille, the braille's on the back right there. Yeah, I just got it all set up. It's got face unlock, it's got the pan, it's got all the regular normal phone stuff. Okay, it's got the SIM card right there. That's the main reason why I'm talking about this one is because I'm gonna put a terabyte, and I'm pretty sure I have a terabyte uh, chip, and I'm going to load it up with movies. I'm gonna load it up with TV shows. Every show I've ever, you, know, you can ever imagine, you can throw on one of these little cards, you can download all this stuff. And this one has 128 gigabytes. If you are gonna get it as a phone, I think there's like G GSM or something like that. So it, uh, there's certain services that you have to get for this one, like T-Mobile and stuff like that. So check it out before you buy it if you are wanting to get it for a phone. But like I was saying, if you want to have the library of Alexandria in your pocket, along with every movie that's ever been made, every TV show that's ever been made, you can have it right here. And then you can have it in your bug out bag. That's the reason why getting something like this is amazing because it's rugged. I'm gonna make it into like a prepper device, okay? So make sure that y'all follow along for the journey. It's going to be very, very cool. The phone so far, obviously it's a, it's a modern phone i mean what are you expecting with a modern phone that's what it is basically what you want to do after you get this thing is you want to take pictures of your id of every family member's id you want to make sure that you take pictures of yourself holding your id along with your face so that they can see that it's you in the picture just like you would do if you were verifying for any website or anything like that any kind of documentation you want to make sure that you do that so that you have all of this stuff with you in case there is some sort of situation plus that you can you can download gaming emulators. If you got kids or something and they're bored in some sort of situation where the power is off for a long extended period of time, you can be able to do that. It's 1111. Plus, if anything ever happened like that and you needed to use this as a phone, you could take your SIM card and you could plop it right into this thing. It takes two SIM cards and a big terabyte card, okay? So you can hold the library of Alexandria in this thing along with all of your personal documentation. What about all your family photos? Do you get to be able to take a photo album along with you if you're having to bug out somewhere you know if there's a fire or something like that what happens to all your family photos if you forget to take that stuff if you are in a fire or something like that but if you got this thing in a bug out bag in a vehicle or something these things are made first first off they're made for high heat okay they're made for environments like construction workers and stuff like that so that's what this thing is for i'm not telling you to switch your phone over even though you could switch your phone over okay what you're getting with this that for some reason Apple can't give you. You're getting a brick charger type C, obviously. You're getting a manual, okay? You're getting the actual cable itself right there. You're getting the box, which is a cool box, and you're getting the main thing is the phone. I'm gonna turn this house apart. I just found this. I bought it a long time ago. I don't remember. I think it was a nickel. These things are so incredibly cheap now. It's a terabyte, okay? Check this out. The little uh, gasket over here, this thing is built to be, it's, it's waterproof and dustproof, obviously. I used to take mine swimming with me. I used to take it underwater uh, camera-ing, if you will. But check out that gas, that, uh, that, what are they called these things? Right there, a little rubber gasket, okay? That's covering the SIM card and the little uh, micro SD card 
right down there. Got the little push pin right here. If you've never done this before, you just take it, you just push it in the little hole right there and it pops right out, okay? Now this one also, it's a rugged phone. It's built to make it through anything, okay? So if you have to trek in your bug out through a river or something like that, you can make it. Okay, here is the charger. Like I was saying, they, they overbuilt this thing to last, okay? That's the reason why it's important. That's the reason why this is better than your regular phone that you have in your pocket right now if you're going to go into some sort of survival situation. Obviously, if you like hiking and if you like going into outdoors and stuff like that, you can swap your SIM card from your regular phone and you can swap it back and forth just as long as it's compatible with this service for this particular phone right here. And then it is over uh, 10,000 milliamp hours. I think it's like 10,800 milliamp hours or something like that. But it's over 10,000 milliamp hour battery life. They have a tiny little notch at the top that the screen's relatively bright. Flashlight right there. Got a fingerprint reader, okay, and I believe that this little thing, the on the power button, I believe that that is the fingerprint thing. Mm. It's on the back of your phone, use your finger. What am I talking about? Is it not that? Maybe it's that. I bet you it's that. <laughs> Hang on. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, obviously. <laughs> there we go. That's a much more convenient spot to have it right there. <laughs> Boom, fingerprint added. Now they got me on a biometric system. Okay, so the phone is broken. I would definitely not put it through that rugged of a torture test. Obviously, no phone is made to be chucked and dragged behind a bike like that. Obviously, this was an extreme test to put it through extreme elements, just like if you were to be bugging out from any kind of situation. The point is, is that you could do this with any kind of device. If you have an old tablet, if you have an old phone, anything like that, you can do that with. You just wanna make sure that you have your documents. You wanna make sure that you have all of your stuff. And if you want something that is actually rugged, check this one out right here. Obviously, don't go throwing it. It's not made to be chucked in the middle of a parking lot. Don't go doing that, but. Okay, in complete defense of the Oki Tail rugged smartphone, this is a completely unrealistic durability test. I'm dragging it behind the bike, obviously. This is not going to ever happen. Anything this rugged where I'm just, it's taking turn after turn after turn. Now, in reality, what I think would have happened, I did this first and then I threw the thing. I think that if I would have just thrown it first, like, which is a much more realistic, real world application for the durability test of a phone. I probably know a little blonde girl that would huck this phone at me right now. It would have been a much more uh, reliable durability test than me dragging it behind the bike, obviously hucking it in the parking lot. I think that it would have it would have lasted being hucked through the parking lot but being dragged first it hit so many bumps and whatnot and i think that as you can see right here uh before it was just cracked right there okay i had all this footage in here and then it all got deleted off of the application for whatever reason and so i missed all of it i got all the footage off my 360 camera but then it got deleted off of my regular phone for whatever reason and so anyway it was barely cracked right here before I threw it and then I threw it and then that's when we got this action going on right there before it was just fine and still the screen still works but I think that it, I think it would have I think it would have just straight survived the throwing test if I would have dragged it first so I still think it's a good idea to do this I mean obviously you could do this if you had an old tablet or if you had an old phone or something like that the reason why I'm getting something like this is because it's rugged obviously it's not designed to be dragged behind a bike like that it's probably designed to be thrown I remember mine a long time ago I have thrown it not in anger or anything like that just joking around because